Okay, hello everyone. So, ito may panibago na naman tayong uh, video lesson na matututunan ninyo today. So, let's think. Okay? So, simulan natin sa activity na to. Ano kaya yung topic na i-discuss natin for today? Simulan natin sa activity na to. Spin the wheel. So, ganito po. What if natawagan kayo ni Willie para maglaro sa ating spin of wheel? Sa tingin ninyo, class, ilan kaya ang chance na makakakuha ka ng malaking pera? O kaya, ilan ang chance mong makukuha mo ang bokya. So, kung makikita ninyo, ilan ang bilang ng bokya sa ruleta ni Willie? Correct. There are 12 bokya on the wheel. At kung titignan natin, ilan ang bahagi ng mga makikita ninyong uh, possible winning sa ating ruleta. Ayan. There are 32 possible winnings including the bokya on the wheel. So, kung meron kang labing dalawang bokya sa ruleta at merong 32 parts ng ating ruleta kasama na ang bokya doon, ibig sabihin, meron kang 12 out of 32 chances. Pwede natin siyang isulat as form ng fraction. 12 over 32. At pwede natin i-lowest term si 12 over 32. At we have 3 over 8. At ang 3 eighths na to ay pwedeng i-convert sa percentage. At ang percentage natin ay 37.5%. Out of 100, may chance kang makakuha ng bokya ng 37.5%. Think more. Kung titignan ninyo sa labas o dudungaw kayo sa bintana ninyo sa pintuan, will it rain today? Come to think of it. Mag-isip pa tayo. It rains on Christmas Day. Uulan po ba sa Christmas Day? Maybe. It snows in Quezon City? That is not possible. So, it means it will never snow. It will never happen that it will snow in Quezon City or in any other places in the Philippines. Storm hit Luzon in August. Hmm. It may, it may happen or it may not. So probably, ito yung mga uh, description na pwede natin gamitin. Pag binigay kayo, binigyan kayo ng mga situations na gaya nun. So we have maybe, likely, perhaps, and probably. So, Sa mga activity o sa mga situation at event na mga pinag-usapan natin kanina, we have the probability. So, sa video na to, i-discuss natin, i-introduce natin yung konsepto ng probability. So, the objective or the objectives natin para sa video na to is to define probability, illustrate an experiment, outcome, or sample space, and event. Simulan natin kung ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng probability. Probability is the branch of mathematics concerned with analyzing the chance that a particular event will occur. So, gaya ng nagawa natin kaninang activity, nag-analyze po tayo, nag-isip po tayo kung ang isang event o kaganapan ay mangyayari o hindi. The purpose of this is to attempt to predict the likelihood that something will or will not happen. So, 
pwede nating gamitin ang, ang mga numerical value to represent if a certain event will or will not happen. So, we have 0, 5 tenths, and 1. Pag sinabing 0, obviously, the event will never happen. So, that is impossible. If it is 0.5 or 50% or 5 tenths or 1 half, it is may or it will refer to the event that will that may that may happen or not so that is 50 50 percent chances possible plus the possibility and for one it refers to certain means to say 100 percent it will happen we have this a uh, first situation ulit no a father will give birth to twins so this is impossible zero percent it will not happen since father is a boy and a boy cannot give birth to uh, to a baby okay so this is uh, this event will never happen next tamarind is sour so this is certain you will make it to the list of honor students in your class so it will happen or it may happen or not so this is possible so 50 50 percent of chances that you will make it to the list of honor students so we have further um description about the probability as i do on sa impossible possible uncertain pwede rin tayong gumamit ng um this one so meron tayong unlikely okay in between siya ng zero and one half and we have also likely so in between siya ng one half and one okay so after we define probability meron na kayong concepto ng probability ng mga events about chances of likelihood let's discuss the experiment so ano nga ba itong experiment na tinatawag natin Nabing experiment po, it is a repeatable procedure with a set of possible results. Each possible result of a probability experiment is an outcome. Outcome means the result, okay? The set of all possible outcomes is the sample space or probability space. And is, it is usually denoted by capital letter S. Pag tinutukoy ang individual outcome, we're referring to sample point. If we are dealing with the total number of possible outcomes, we use uh, the symbol N of S. Remember, the capital letter S refers to the sample space. This is the set of all possible outcomes. Furthermore, any subset of the sample space is an event. And it is denoted by capital letter E. So let's have an example. Flipping a coin. So we have here an example of coin, which is one peso coin. So if we are asked, or if if somebody asks you to write the sample space of this kind of event, the event here, nantinutukoy natin is flipping a coin. At tinatanong rito is yung sample space. Alalahanin natin na pag sinabing sample space, ito po yung set ng all possible outcomes. Ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng outcomes? Ito yung mga results, yung mga posibleng uh, magiging result ng isang event. So in this case, meron tayong piso ang pwede lang na lumabas kapag pinlip mo ang isang barya ay it's either a head or a tail. So the sample space will be written in a form of set. Since sample space refers to the set of all possible outcomes. And the possible outcomes in flipping a coin are head and tail. So we can write H referring to the head, T referring to the tail. So we have H and T. So the number of possible outcomes Okay, the total number of possible outcomes is 2. 
So we use uh, N, small letter N of, uh, of S. So this is read as N of S. Total number of possible outcomes. How about in this kind of event or experiment? So tossing a die. So this one is a die. So ang sample space natin kapag tinos natin ang die or ni-roll natin ang die, since we have uh, this die is I mean a cube, okay? So meron siyang anim na faces, meron consisting of one dot, two dots, three dots, four dots, five and six dots. Ibig sabihin ang sample space natin are all the dots. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the number of dots on the die. So yan po. Ngayon, if we get the total number of possible outcomes, we have six. So here are some example po at sinarmari na natin yung mga events. So dito or the experiment, okay? So, dito, we have flipping a coin once. So, isang beses na pag-flip ng barya. Ang possible outcomes lang natin ay head at tail. At ang sample space natin ay head and tail. So, in a form of set. At ang event natin, let's say for example, the event of getting a head. So, we can use E, capital letter E, to refer to the event. So, dahil isa lang naman yung head natin. So, we have H. Ayan. So, the total number of possible outcomes is 2. Next, if we roll a die, okay, roll a die. So, we have the possible outcomes. These are the number of uh, dots on the die. So, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So, ang sample space natin in a form of set. Let's say ang event natin, the event that an even number appears. So, ito yung example nito. At ang total number of possible outcomes ay 6. Okay, so the this flipping and rolling are the experiments. Okay, now for this one spinning a wheel, kaya nang uh, nauna natin na banggit sa video yung roleta. Ayan spinning a wheel. So kung makikita niyo, we have four possible outcomes. We have red, yellow, blue, and light. I mean, is this an aqua? Ayan, so parang light green siya. Ay ito na pala. So we have red, blue, okay, yellow, and green. So red blue, yellow, and green. So, these are the sample space. So, ang event natin, let's say, the event that will uh, the spinner will stop at green. Okay? So, this is an example. At ang total number possible outcomes natin ay 4. 